Next big question, Dan. Favorite battle? Favorite battle easily, hands down, goes to Watchers on the Wall with the Wildlings attacking Castle Black. That's the best episode they ever made. Yep. Um, it's in the best order. Battle. It goes Watchers on the Wall, Blackwater. Not counting single combats because some of those scenes are really good too, but I don't count those as battles. Right. Um, yeah. No, I don't either. I enjoyed Hard Home more than Battle of the Bastards. I think that's the worst battle. I'm trying to think if I missed any. Well, I don't I guess, really count yeah. like I don't really count any of the battles in Essos and stuff because they were all kind of over before they started. Yeah, and bat- and Ox Cross, you don't really see it. And yeah, Ox Cross is classic Game of you- Thrones season one. Same with Whispering Woods. Yeah, you all see Ox Cross in the books. You don't actually yeah. see him. Yeah, you see Ox Cross in the books though. Tyrion fights yeah. and kills a knight in that battle. Yep, mm-hmm. it's a huge turning point for him because he, he has like a unicorn horn on his helmet, and he like just runs into this knight's horse while he's on the ground. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, but yeah, battle of the battle of the wall. Um, what's your favorite moment of the battle of the wall? Uh, that's interesting that you ask. I think we talked a little bit about it earlier when Gren holds off the. Uh, Mm-hmm. Mount yep. the giant. Um, I like the part where Alistair is like, you know, knock, draw, loose. Like, that's a really good part. Um, I think my favorite part, like the part where, like, I'm still, like, to this day, I'm like, oh, like, it's the part where they drop the scythe on the climber. Oh, I was just going to say, I think yeah. mine's when they drop the scythe. Yeah, that's like probably my favorite, one of my favorite parts of all of Game of Thrones. Like, I, I love like, that part. Yeah. 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 No, that's a really good scene. Yeah, that's a great scene. I love the fight between John and the Finn. Like, it just it's a good, yeah. gritty fight scene, and you know, it's just good. Um, love that Ollie bro nods John after he shoots Egret in the back. <laughs> like, love that. That's so Game of Thrones. It's like, or, got you, bro. Uh, when Jaina Slint runs into the uh, storeroom to hide with the babies and the women. Yeah, classic cowardly yep. Jano Slint. Um, yeah, that's that's a great one. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Um, what about you? No, it's Watchers on the Wall. It's my favorite. Uh, yeah. my favorite battle. I love it when Stannis shows up with the magical army that then just disappears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, Yeah, that's my favorite battle. Um, now we know think of if there's any one-on-one duels that I really like. We know the answer to this question. We know that your favorite character in Game of Thrones is Stannis Baratheon. In the books and not in the show. Okay. Uh, in the show, who's your favorite character? Pro- probably Davos. Davos Seaworth, the Onion Knight. Yeah, he's probably my... And I don't really consider like season six through eight. He had no personality after that. It didn't even really make any sense why he joined forces with John. Like that was never even answered. He had a family like he needed to worry about. And he's just like, whatever, I'll just take up with you guys. And it's like, oh. Okay. Like, well, well, I mean, you watch a man come back from the death, and uh, you but he's not. Him he's later. just not even religious. Like, he's he he follows Stannis because Stannis raised him up. He's like loyal yeah. to Stannis because he sees pragmatism in in Davos's skills. So that's why he loves Stannis, but he doesn't love John. He's not even particularly religious. So I think if Stan if the whole cause went away and he had no more power, he'd have to go and get his family because their house is going to get raided. Well, they're all uh, dead now, remember? In the show, they're all dead. Well, not his wife. Just well, one his, of just uh, his wife might still be alive, but that's uh, who he thinks about the most is his wife. Yeah. Because he they have a house. In, they in have the a show, key. he only has like two sons. In the yeah, book, he's got he he's got like nine. six sons. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite character is the King of the North, Rob Stark. Love Richard Madden. I think he's he should be doing more stuff. Yeah, he um, you know, he spent his Marvel ticket in a bad yeah. movie. He played an incredible Rob Stark. Yeah, I thought the costuming was great. E- every time he was there on screen, I was on the edge of my seat waiting to see what was going to happen. I hated that he took up with a foreign whore. It's funny, actually. She so people actually thought at the time, since you weren't in the in the fandom at this time, but people actually thought because she's she because in the books it's not her, she's not foreign, she's from the Westerling house. Um, her name is Jane Westerling, but in the in the show they chose this lady Talisa, and she's from Volantis, but she's the daughter of a very powerful politician in Volantis. 
So people yeah. thought that like they were going to have something to say about the phrase and all everything it was like, hey, you Ooh. killed my daughter. And um, that would have been a cool tie in for like, you know, some revenge from somewhere else coming out and getting the phrase as well. Not just, you know, the defeated, you know, it, it, people thought, multiple, and then it went nowhere. Yeah. If multiple faceless people had shown up. Maybe not even faces, but like, how about just actual consequences? Like the whole city of Volantis demands retribution against, you know, this house. And then like, what if the Lannisters were like, yeah, we don't really want to go to war with Volantis for the shipping, like over the Stepstones. So we're just going to go ahead and hand over the people responsible for killing the yeah. daughter. Like that would be drama. That'd be like, oh, that's cool. You know, but that never happened. So. But yeah, you know, we've been, we've been talking about Game of Thrones for about 45 minutes. Um, I like I said many times, I can talk about this all day. Uh, and luckily, you know, as we, you know, we're we're starting to get into the you know the rumor alley of House of Dragon season two. You know, they're currently filming. Uh, I expect, and I think they've said several times they expect to be done sometime in September. You know, but it's still going to take a long time to do the VX, especially since we we should be getting some dragon fights. So, gonna, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to doing more of these videos with you, Dan. Um, oh, me too, buddy. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and follow us on Twitter at Keys Advisors underscore.